Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, which means it is time for another Tea Together Tuesday, which is a feature that was created and hosted by Jan over at Tea with Jan, as well as Kimberly at Tea is the Wish blog. And as usual, both of their links are in the description box below. So if you've not checked them out, make sure you do so. So today's question is, what is a tea or tisane that you tried, didn't, didn't like at first? but now love. And I kind of touched on it in my very first Tea Together Tuesday. Uh, I, I had mentioned that my very first interaction with oolong tea was a disaster. Someone had given me a tea bag full of oolong tea. And, and mind you, this was, this was many moons ago. So like, I don't even remember the brand. I don't even remember like the type of oolong. They just said that this is an oolong tea and it's amazing. I mean, the I, I would have to say that the only thing that I remember about it was it must have been like one of the higher oxidized oolongs because I remember it being fairly dark. But yeah, they raved about it, I was excited. And when I made it, oh my God, it was just awful. Awful, 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 awful. I just remember being so disappointed in, in the tea that it produced because it was like, it was so earthy to the point that it was like, like a mouthful of mud and, and mushrooms and wet logs. Yeah, like, no, it was just, it was like mud soup. I was so certain that I just, oolong tea and me would not get along for all eternity, but my, how I was wrong. So the tea that I am a sipping today for this video, and probably one of my earliest introductions to oolong tea and how it could actually be really amazing as opposed to like a cup of, a hot cup of muddy mess, is uh, Tia Guan Yin. And this one is from Crafted Leaf Teas. It is their 2019 Tia Guan Yin. Today I just steeped it Western style mostly because I wanted to try out my new glass teapot and my new glass mug, which you're gonna see here in a minute. But yeah, normally normally this is one that I would brew in a gaiwan. Crafted Leaf Teas writes that this tea guanyin is overgrown with wildflowers and fed by naturally sweet and clear spring water. Wildflowers grow freely among natural flora and work to both attract insects away from the tea leaves, but also infuse the tea plants with their complex aroma. This Tia Guan Yin offers milky and orchid floral aromas complemented by a creamy texture, while later infusions shift toward tropical plantain and mango. I'd say that there's probably three oolong teas that I tried fairly early on after my whole oolong fiasco incident that kind of really challenged my perception of oolong and, and encouraged me to explore this type of tea further. One of the first oolongs that I tried was definitely the Wu Darjeeling that I mentioned in my first Tea Together Tuesday video. Um, I also tried, ah, man, I wanna say it's called Six Summits Oolong. It was from Tivana, and I think that it was just a lightly oxidized oolong that had been blended with like just these massive, like massive either strawberries or raspberries. And so it had you know, like a lovely floral flavor that, and like a nice pop of tart berry. And then I would say the third that like completely changed my mind about, about oolong teas was the Tia Guan Yin. The first one I ever tried was from Tea Bevere and it was just so beautiful and floral and creamy. And in later infusions, it kind of gave way to like this really juicy pineapple aroma. It was really interesting. It just kind of blew my mind that considering my very first experience with oolong, that that this is what this kind of tea could taste like. And this Tia Guan Yin from a Crafted Leaf Teas is, is no less exceptional than the first Tia Guan Yin that I had ever tried. I just, it's, it's sort of a tea that I almost always have in my collection, especially in the springtime, because this to me is a tea that says springtime is here. I mean, aside from this beautiful kind of pale golden yellow color, I, the, the, the floral notes and the creaminess of this, it, it's sort of like, it's sort of like the perfect tea to drink like mid spring here in Michigan where the sun is warm, but there's still kind of like this chilly bite in the air. So do you guys like oolong? If you do, 
let me know what some of your favorite oolongs are. It could be, it could just be like a straight tea like this, or even a blend. Let me know which ones you like. And also, let me know in the comments below what is a tea or tisane that you first tried and did not like, but over time grew to love it. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.